In this video, I'm going to show you how Howard Stern, the Sirius XM radio celebrity and multimillionaire, king of all media, completely transformed his life by letting go of the brutal honesty that characterized him in his early career and embracing a more tactful and diplomatic way of communicating with people. If you can master these same techniques, you can transform your own relationships to one where you're callous and brutal and alienating the people around you, or you have trouble connecting with people, to one where you can build strong, intimate friendships and relationships. Hi everybody, I'm Bruce Lambert from HowCommunicationWorks.com, a channel where I teach you communication skills so you can improve your relationships, succeed at work, and build your own confidence. Let's get started. Howard Stern, some of you may not know who he is. I was talking to a younger friend of mine and he didn't know who Howard Stern was. People my age know that Howard Stern is what he used to call the king of all media. He was the first radio shock jock. He became famous by saying shocking things. His whole strategy for celebrity was brutal honesty all the time. And this worked tremendously well for him. He became very popular and very wealthy, but as we'll see in this video, it wasn't a great long-term strategy. So if those of you who may not know who Howard Stern was, I'm gonna show you a clip or two. He just did an interview with uh, David Letterman on, on Letterman's new show on Netflix. And he revealed some really interesting things about his personal life, and that's what we're gonna get into today. So in this first clip, I wanna um, illustrate for you the sorts of things he used to do on the radio so you know what I mean about his style if you're not familiar with him. So in this case, he um, there was a, a terrible plane crash in, back in the 1980s where a plane took off in Washington and crashed into a bridge over the Potomac River and many people died. It was tragic and he made a joke about it. So in this first clip, we'll see him talk about the joke he made. You, you had called an, air, an airline crashed into a bridge in the Potomac. Right. And you called the airline and said, uh, I just wanted, how much is a ticket from uh, Dulles to the bridge? Yeah. <laughs> I said, is that a one-way ticket? Is that a one-way ticket, yeah. Yeah. So that joke gets a big laugh. And even I have to say, it's kind of funny, but it's brutal and it's funny. And if you've ever known anyone who's died in a plane crash as I have, you realize in some ways how heartless it is. And he made this joke right when the plane crash happened. We're now talking about 40 years later or 35 years later to make a joke, it can be funny. But on the day that it happened, you really have to have a lot of nerve to make a joke like that. And he did, and that's what he was like. Um, and he believed that this uh, honesty was the key to his success. So let's watch a clip of him talking about honesty. Here it is. I think the reason I was successful was that I was always honest with the audience. Honesty then, he thinks, is the key to his success. And this comes back to one of the main themes we've been talking about on this channel for a long time, and that is the tension between being completely honest or maybe being completely authentic, saying exactly what's on our mind, and the competing demand to care about other people's feelings and to be considerate, to be tactful, to be diplomatic, to be kind, etc. cetera. And, and in the beginning, Howard Stern just thought it was really best to have no filter. And in this next clip, he talks about the decision that he made to have no filter. Let's watch it. Well, when I went to Washington, D.C., I decided I was not going to lose anymore. I had to do whatever it is. And my epiphany, if, if you want to call it that, was I had to uh, loosen up a bit. That whatever came into my mind, I would talk about, and it would be pure id, total honesty, and I, and I had a lot of rage, and I was going to let that mm -hmm. rage out. That's what you, you, your quote is. You were just going to let your head crack open, yeah. and your unadulterated id would spill out. In that clip, Howard Stern says he's going to crack open his head and just let pure id out. So maybe you don't know exactly what id is. Id is a Freudian term. It comes from Sigmund Freud's theory of the mind. And he said there were three parts of the mind, the id, the ego, and the superego. I'm not going to go into all that in detail, except to say that the id is refers to the part of our mind that contains the basic instinctual drives, especially for sex and aggression, uh, without any filter, without being governed by like the ego or the superego, which would be a conscience or uh, 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 logic or reason or tact or anything like that. So pure id means pure unfiltered expression of sex and aggression. And if you knew about Howard Stern's show in the 80s, especially that's what it was about, sex and aggression. And uh, he thought that was a great idea. But in this next clip, 
He talks about, though it made him famous and successful as a radio host, it had lots of other negative consequences. So let's hear him begin to talk about the negative consequences of this unfiltered, pure id way of being. Which is great radio, but really damaging to your personal life. Mm -hmm. it, can, it can wreak havoc. You don't have a life. You become a, a madman. You don't have a life. You become a madman. It wreaks havoc with your personal life. So this is Howard Stern, who, make no mistake, became rich and famous by having this unfiltered strategy on the radio. But now upon reflection, as an older, wiser man, having paid the price for that unfiltered way of communicating, he now says it made me a madman. It was no way to live. Uh, so here we begin to see the costs of communicating in an unfiltered way. Maybe in certain narrow domains of our life it can make us successful, but it ruins the rest of our life because it prevents us from developing friendships, intimate bonds and relationships with other people because we have no regard for other people. This unfiltered honesty is just a way of having no regard or consideration for other people, for their feelings, their thoughts, the, uh, and for the consequences. Uh, and here in this next clip, he continues along that same line of thought about what the consequences were of communicating in this way. Let's have a look at this next clip. You know, I didn't really have this ability to think about others. I didn't have a, a way of functioning in the real world. I knew how to function on the radio. Right. That's what I was good at. He says he didn't have the ability to think about others or to function in the real world. These are pretty dramatic consequences. The inability to think about others. What is he saying there? He said he had no empathy. So this is what I've been trying to get across. There's this, 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 there are these two poles. On the one end, brutal honesty. On the, one, on the other end, empathy. And I've been encouraging people, move towards empathy. Move towards the light. And this is what Howard Stern is saying. When he was operating in this mode of pure id, uh, unfiltered honesty said he had no ability to understand the perspective of other people. He was without empathy, a madman. Uh, and as he goes on, he talks about what this ultimately did to his relationships and about the need to apologize to all the people that he hurt. So let's watch this next clip where he talks about the need to apologize. I've apologized to a lot of people. Um, and I'll tell you why. I think, I think I did a lot of growing up and I do attribute this to psychotherapy. Again, I, you know, I was just a young man full of rage. And I was angry. I was angry with you, that you were on television, that you had an audience. There was no rhyme or reason to it. I could not love anyone. I couldn't respect anyone. I just thought this was who I was. I've never seen Howard Stern be this vulnerable. I really was taken aback when I heard him say, I could not love anyone. I could not respect anyone. I just thought this is how I was. That's a really, really sad state of affairs to be in. That's a very empty way of existing as a human being. And it is a direct result of failing to take into account the needs, beliefs, preferences, uh, attitudes, feelings of other people. And if you are like this, you will not be able to connect with other people. And it's in those connections with other people that all of the greatest parts of life eventually emerge, of friendships and love relationships and family relationships and work relationships that give meaning and purpose to our life. And he's reflecting now with great regret on having communicated in this other way, which did so much damage. Um, and he, he finally begins to talk about, and he talks about the benefit of psychotherapy. So that, that, and I think for, for many of us, uh, psychotherapy can help us get over these um, obstacles and these flaws in our ways of communicating. We can work with people who can help us learn to communicate in new ways. And we have, may have learned from our families or early in life, very destructive ways of communicating. And in this next clip, Howard talks about what he learned from his mother about how to communicate when he was a child. Let's take a look. Words had no meaning to me. Words didn't hurt. Of course they hurt me if somebody says something bad. But as far as I was concerned, oh, everything's a joke. Yeah. This, words don't mean anything. In fact, my mother used to say to me when I was young, words don't mean anything. And I, and I took her at, at her yeah. word that, well, that you know, yeah. it was like, so when I would talk about your ratings or talk about your relationship or anything like that, I assumed he doesn't care, mm -hmm. but it did hurt, and it did hurt you. And, you know, I was like, well, why am I hurting this guy I love so much and admire? <laughs> and Words have no meaning. 
So I think this is a common belief for, for people who, who can be brutally honest like this. They might think, especially if they're joking or teasing, a lot of people really tease a lot. I think, well, you shouldn't be hurt because I'm only teasing. You should know that I'm teasing. And because I'm teasing, this, this shouldn't hurt you because my intentions aren't to hurt you. You shouldn't be hurt. And this is the way that Howard Stern thought for a long time. And he says he learned from his mother. Words have no meaning. And we learn as children, you know, sticks and stones may break my bones, but names will never hurt me. But that's just wrong. Anyone who's ever been called names or mocked or teased knows it actually does hurt us. Now, we can develop a thick skin so that they hurt us less. But in fact, language can hurt us very powerfully when, when, when people who we care about say terrible things about us. And this is a painful lesson. And he talks in the end about, he asks himself, why was I doing this to Dave Letterman in particular? He says, I, I loved you. You were my friend. Why did I do this? And it's really painful. We, we, those of us who sometimes communicate in this unfiltered way, and sadly, I have to count myself among them. I have, at times in my life, been impulsive and, and said things that really hurt people and have lived to regret it and have had to apologize. Um, you know, in, in, I may portray myself as a communication expert on this channel, but I've made all the mistakes <laughs> that I'm talking about other people correcting. Uh, so, you know, we when we communicate in this way, this brutally honest way without regard to other people's feelings, we hurt the people that we love. And sometimes in irreparable ways, we sometimes damage relationships in ways that we can't repair them. Other times we just cause tremendous harm and suffering to people that we care about and that we love. And we have to spend an enormous amount of time and effort repairing those relationships if they, if they can be fixed. So in the end, I thought it was just beautiful to hear Howard Stern tell this story of how he evolved from this pure id, unfiltered, brutal honesty, this approach which made him famous and very, very wealthy, uh, to after psychotherapy, being able to have regard for other people's feelings, apologizing for all the people to all the people that he hurt, realizing that words do have meaning and words have the power to hurt us very badly, and then modifying his behavior accordingly. I think he does a very generous thing by sharing this vulnerable aspect of his life experience with us so that we might learn the same lesson without having to pay as high a price as he paid. So that's all I have about Howard Stern. I hope you enjoy that clip. You could go and find the show on Netflix and watch the entire interview. It's really funny and entertaining and, and touching. I could only take a few short clips here to talk about these principles of, of honesty and compassion and, and empathy. If you like this kind of video, I'd be really grateful if you'd consider giving us a, a like over here and, and maybe even consider subscribing to our channel if you find this to be useful or entertaining or edifying in any way. And go on over to howcommunicationworks.com, which is our website and contains a blog, often has written versions of uh, the material from these videos. Uh, it has you know, 30 or more articles about various different communication topics, also on howcommunicationworks.com. On the front page, you can find a coaching offer where I offer to give you one-on-one -on -one coaching about communication skills, issues in your life. And there's a brief application form. We can set up a phone call to see whether one-on-one -on -one coaching between you and me might be helpful and mutually beneficial for, for the both of us. So if that's something that interests you, go on over to the website. Uh, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Tell me what you thought of Howard Stern, whether you're a fan of Howard Stern's, what you think of his transformation. Go on down to the comments and leave me a note to let me know uh, that you're watching. Thanks so much for watching. We'll talk to you next time.